All 287 of the school students abducted in northern Nigeria earlier this month have been freed. The victims, some as young as four, were taken from their school in Kuriga in the northern Kaduna state earlier this month. It's not yet clear yet if a military operation freed them or if a ransom was paid. Well, joining us on the phone from Abuja is Abdulaziz Abdulaziz. He's a special assistant to the Nigerian president on media. Sir, sir can you explain to us in what circumstances uh, the release of these students was secured? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, actually, uh, this is uh, something that took uh, days, as you knew, uh, as you earlier said, uh, the abduction actually occurred on uh, the 7th of March, uh, like some 16 days ago. And uh, since that time, the president uh, gave a marching order to the security forces and uh, the heads of, uh, uh, you know, uh, security agencies to ensure that these students are freed in good time and uh, intact. And uh, in the early hours of today, uh, they were finally released by the uh, by the, the by their abductors. And uh, of course, it took uh, a lot of uh, back channel. Uh, engagements in which uh, the president directed that money should not be involved, and uh, money was not involved in this operation. Are you saying no uh, ransom were, was paid, sir? No ransom was paid because you know the president had earlier stated that ransom would not be paid because uh, the government believed that the uh, terrorists, those engaged in such kind of uh, heinous acts, should not be rewarded uh, by... So, or, so if, or no, if I can jump in, if no, if no ransom was paid, what compelled the abductors to release all the students in their captivity? Well, you know, there are many things that can be done uh, in the back channel. Uh, Such as what? There are details that... Uh, there are details that we may not be able to, to state, but, pre but going by previous experience, there are instances of uh, some concessions that the government feel is not uh, really harmful to the, uh, mm. I mean, to the overall security of the country or not, or not compromise national security. Mm. So such concessions could be uh, done in a situation like this. Okay, so there could be concessions to abductors is what you're saying. Uh, concessions made yes. that would not involve the payment of ransom money. Yes. How, so first of all, speaking about these students, how are they doing? What is your information on them? Well, so the people that are, I mean, uh, that are with the students have reported that they are all fine, they are well, uh, all the 137 of them. And uh, that's also one correction that we would have to make because uh, a lot of reporting, including in your intro, you mentioned that uh, 287, which is not official figure. It was just figures being bandied around. But the actual figure is 137 comprising of uh, some 61, uh, I mean, 71 female and uh, I think uh, 65 uh, male uh, male students. Okay. So uh, all, of, all of them were, were released. All of them were, were fine as at the time of when they are currently being transported to the capital of Kaduna. 137 students then, not, not 287. We'll, note, we'll make a note of that, yes. uh, uh, the official number that you're providing, and we thank you for that. What, if anything, do you know or have you been able to learn uh, about the conditions in which they were being held captive? What was their life like for the last 16 days? Well, of course, you can imagine that it's, it will be quite horrible going by the fact that uh, these are... Uh, uh, small children and teenagers who were taken uh, into custody in a very uh, inhabitable environment, and uh, that could be quite telling on them. Uh, but uh, the good news is that uh, there had not been uh, any issue uh, of, um, you know, for now, any reports of maltreatment or harassment as such. But of course, they would have to suffer maybe because they may not be able to uh, to shelter properly or to eat properly. And uh, that is some of the early things that uh, the government would ensure is done immediately to check the status of their health as they arrive at uh, Kaduna before they are eventually handed over to their families. Well, thank you very much, sir, for uh, making taking some time to speak to us on the program this hour. Abdulaziz Abdulaziz, special assistant to the Nigerian president, uh, in uh, from joining us from Abuja this hour. Thank you.